four kill, 17 injured, man. Hi, I'm Faraz Javed for 7 News Detroit. Four people are dead, 17 are injured after a semi-trailer truck crashed into backed up traffic. This happened just before midnight Saturday on I-96 westbound. I'm standing right before the M52 intersection and that's where it happened. What you can see right behind me is Michigan State Police investigating the crash as well as the cleanup efforts taking place. The wreckage included 15 vehicles, including the semi-trailer truck. These images show some of the damaged cars and SUVs we saw being towed away. The aftermath only adds to one's imagination of what happened Saturday night. When I got here, they had eastbound and westbound shut down. They had under the overpass shut down. Justin McCollum works at the gas station next to the intersection. Justin showed me the security footage. At 11.41 p.m., you can see the fireball explosion rolling down westbound on I-96. We had Stockbridge coming out. We had Williamston, Bath, Fowlerville re uh, responded, Weberville responded. Michigan State Police's 1st District Lieutenant Rene Gonzalez says moments before the crash, a few MSP units had closed the freeway for 15 minutes so that DTE workers could pull power lines across the freeway. We had just reopened the freeway and it was westbound I-96. And at this time, traffic was just starting to move again. It was a little bit backed up. And we had a semi that was also traveling westbound. It had a trailer on it, came up upon the, the group of vehicles. It appears that he didn't see the backup, couldn't stop in time and uh, drove into the group of vehicles. Um, that caused a huge collision with a group of vehicles, uh, an explosion and vehicles catching on fire. Of the four killed, three people were traveling in the same car, all related from Lansing. A 46 year old man along with two women, 20 and 33 year olds. The fourth victim, a 29-year-old man, was from Carson City. Meanwhile, the 17 injured were rushed to Sparrow Hospital and McLaren Hospital in serious condition. Uh, the semi-truck driver was injured in the crash, as well as burns. Lieutenant Gonzalez says the semi-trailer truck, which was carrying produce, was completely burned and crushed in the crash. Is it normal for power lines to be pulled across expressways in the middle of the night? It's, it's the best time to do it because the traffic is minimal at that time. As the investigation continues, this father of three can begin to imagine how many lives will be impacted by the crash. There's some family today that are going to be traumatized for the rest of their lives because of what happened today. MSP also says after the cleanup, MDOT engineers will check the bridge for structural integrity, which will require time. Hence, Monday morning commuters may have to find an alternate route as the section of the road may be closed. In Weberville, I'm Faraz Javed, 7 News Detroit. Four D, 17 engine. There's four people, right? They're never going to see their grandmother again, grandfather, see their children again, see their nieces, their nephews, see their family again because of one negligent driver. 17 people that's going to be greatly affected by this. I don't know how bad their injury, they injuries are. I don't know if they got life-threatening injuries. I don't know if they lose limbs, broken bones. They got to work. They can't feed their family because of one negligent driver, right? Millions of truck drivers that's going to be affected by this. Why? Because now DOT is more, they overzealous now. So they, they finna, oh, we finna crack down. We finna do more inspections. Oh, we finna tighten up on regulations. Oh, we finna put these new laws in place that's going to affect us and how we make money and how we feed our family because the driver wants to be negligent because he wants to scroll his phone. Oh, he want to reach back there and grab a snack while he's driving. Oh, he's sleepy. He didn't want to pull over, man, and take you a quick 30 minute nap. Oh, because his love got to get from point A to point B. And I, I ain't got time to pull over and take a nap. So I'm going to chance it, right? I'm going to be dozing off while I'm driving and I'm going to chance it. And possibly I'm going to kill some people. And this guy did, 12 o'clock in the morning, I-96. Union County. State troopers shut the highway down so workers can pull some power lines across the highway. Right? Perfect time for you to shut the highway down. It's minimal traffic. Ain't too many cars out. Shut the highway down. Pretty sure they had signs probably five miles back down the road. Truck track was going to be shut down. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of bright lights out there. They got orange cones out. They got lighting all up and down the highway so you know it's something going on. That's gonna let you know. Oh, I need to start. I need to back up off of this. I need to get up off this gas a little bit. I need to keep a little space between the car in front of me. I need to pay attention to what's going on because there's something going on down here. I don't know exactly what it is, but I need to be 
aware of my surroundings so I can get this, so I can, just in case it's a stop, I'll be able to stop in a safe and timely manner and don't create no issue like the one I just created by running into the back of all these cars, injuring all these people. It's sad, man. We got to do better, man. We got to do better as drivers, man. It's sad. We got to do better as drivers because it's affecting all of us. This industry is really going to shit. And no, it ain't foreigners. It ain't all the foreigners fault. It's us too, people that's born on American soil. It's us too, man. It's us too that play blame in this. I like. I know a lot of people say when some shit happens, oh, it's it's the foreigners. It's the it's, 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 it's the it's the it's them. They coming over here. They buying trucks. It's not just them. It's it's all of us, man. We all play a part, man. With this with these phones, social media, driving sleepy, all that. We all play a part, man. But again, we got to do better, man. As drivers. Professional drivers at that, we have to do better, man. Y'all be safe.